Club Workout 1 in the 21 Days Stronger Core Challenge. We're starting in a split squat position with some dumbbells. We're doing a standing twist. You can do this with one, two, three, four, 12 pound dumbbells. However strong that you are, that's where you're gonna to start today. So you're gonna get into a split squat position and then you're gonna twist across your body. Then you'll stand and twist in the opposite direction. We're gonna go 10 on each side here. Take your time, keep your spine nice and stuck, belly button pulled in. This isn't fast, this is really about getting into your twists, rotating your spine, activating your core from all the levels, deep, deep core, all the way across, transverse spine, your rotational spine here. Let's go two more. 10 on each side. Switch it out. Twist, stand and twist. There we go. Five more. Three, two, and one. <laughs> stand and twist. Awesome. All right, so the next option for us, hanging leg raises if you're at the gym or if you have something to pull a bar to hang on to, lying leg raises if you're at home, and we have many different options for intensity. So I'm actually gonna add some leg weights here. I've got my adjustable leg weights. I have two, weight, two pound weights on each side. I'm gonna put these on before we get into the lying leg raises. We're doing these babies for 10 each. All right, so talking you through as you get down into position, many different levels for you to take. So just body weight, that's one level. You're gonna extend the legs straight in the air. Core's gonna be strong, activating the upper body, getting your shoulder blades off the ground, holding your hands behind your head. Now you only lower your legs as much as you can while keeping your low back flat, as soon as this starts to arch up, you've lost your integrity and that becomes your range of motion. I'll talk you through different ways to change that intensity, but for now, crunch up, lower down. As soon as you start to lose it, bring it back up. You're 10 here. Exhale, inhale. You're going for 10. One more. Okay, let's talk different levels really quickly. Obviously, releasing the leg weight brings it down a level. You could still then go with double leg, leg lowering, okay? The next option here is to let go of the upper body in the movement, but still keep the hands by your head. This makes it a little less intense. You can see I can go with my range of motion now, keeping my low back flat, getting really close to the floor now. And then that third option is to take this into a single leg move. So just split the exercise here. You may be able to bring the upper body back into this movement. You can alternate your sides, getting 10 on each side. You can do 10 on all, uh, do all 10 on one, and then switch all different levels for you to engage here. But that is leg lowering versus leg raises. If you're hanging, you're gonna do hanging leg raises. All right, next up, we're gonna go into bicycle crunch. So for the bicycle crunch, again, many different options. I'm gonna bring those leg weights back. I've been waiting for this core challenge, so I've been working for it. If you are not working for it, if you're not ready for leg weights, leave them. Your body weight alone is gonna be a lot of good work. So you're gonna start with your leg, start lying flat on your back, bring your knees in. So the way that this gets activated is hands go behind your head and your elbows stay nice and wide. So when I am rotating across, I'm hitting the opposite side down on the ground and I'm not going fast and furious in the center, so it's nice, long, and lean. 
We're going for 20, so that's 10 on each side. I'm already at six, seven, eight, nine, 10. If you need a posture break, you're just gonna go back to flat, give your knees a little hug, and then start again for four, three, two, and one, that's 20. Woo! Okay, I'm actually gonna keep the leg weights on to finish out this day with 20 mountain climbers. Now that's one circuit through. We'll talk about how many we need here. I'm gonna go with my hands right underneath my shoulders. If you have any problems with your wrist, you can make a fist stronger here or grab onto those little weights that you had and hold on to them, get the wrist up and elevated. Kick your legs back here, core nice and strong. You're going for 40 mountain climbers and you can choose your pace nice and slow or a little bit faster tempo here. Going for 20 on each side, 40 total. There's 20, 30, and 40. Whew. Okay, that is one round through those four exercises. So I recommend that you take it at least two and up to four rounds here. All right, see you tomorrow for day number two.